मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द प्रोटोजोवन बॉन्ड डिजीज दैट इज अमीबियसिस और वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट एज अमीबिक डिसेंट्री राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस डिजीज अमीबियसिस सो हेयर अमीबिक डिसेंट्री इज ए पैरासिटिक इन्फेक्शन दैट इज कॉज्ड बाय द एंटमीबा हिस्टेलाइटिका दिस इज अ प्रोटोजोवन पैरासाइट राइट सो इट लिव्स इन योर large intestine or we can say colon is the perfect word it lives in colon and cause the infection according to who antamoeba histolytica is the third leading cause of morbidity morbidity means this number of diseases in population right so it's uh, jo disease ka number hai population mein that is third leading cause of right and mortality mortality means death rate also we can say death rate uh, due to this uh, disease is third leading cause right due to parasitic disease in human and it causes diarrheal disease and colitis colitis means stomach ache now if, if we talk about the symptom of amebiasis or amebic dysentery that is caused by the antamoeba histolytica may cause mild to severe symptom like nausea weight loss abdominal discomfort or mainly diarrhea that may include blood or mucus right so it is spread by the house fly so house fly act as a mechanical carrier here and it transmit or serve it serve to transmit the parasite from feces of infected person to the food and food products thereby contaminating them right so here we can say drinking water and food contaminated by the fecal matter are the main source of infection right so source of infection is contaminated drinking water and contaminated food okay so basically they are contaminated with the cyst of antamoeba histolytica they produce cyst in your large intestine and it this cyst is very infective and it present in the fecal matter of infected person and this cyst is picked up by the house fly that contaminate your food and food products and this may if you mistakenly consume or without washing you consume food and food products it will definitely cause the this antamoeba histolytica disease that is known as amebiasis right so let's how it causes the disease let's see how it causes the disease so here from these diagram you can see like i said before mature cyst is ingested by contaminated food or contaminated water and it this cyst enter into your stomach and then from stomach to it travel into the small intestine and what they do here the cyst and cyst and uh, cyst releases the trophozoite right right तो ट्रोफोजॉइड्स क्या करते हैं दे डिवाइड विद द बाइनरी फ्यूजन एंड दे प्रोड्यूस मोर सिस्ट राइट सो हेयर द सिस्ट इज पास इन टू द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन एंड दे विल कम इन दिल सिक्रीट आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्टूल एंड हेयर दिस विल दिस सिस्ट अगेन कम इन टू द एनवायरमेंट राइट इन द सॉइल इन दर एवर इफ वेर एवर द स्टूल इज पास so it enter into the environment right and from here it again ingested into the another healthy person or this cycle is completed like this so here you can see the how cyst is traveled from your stomach to large intestine and then large intestine to uh, small intestine to large intestine and where trophozoite releases produces more cyst right or we can also say that this if this uh, cyst enter into the blood stream it can cause the infection to your brain also it can cause the infection in lung also and it can also damage the liver so in more advanced condition or we can say they enter into the blood stream and through blood stream they can damage your other vitals of body so in here if trophozoid releases into the environment so it cannot it is destroyed immediately but cyst is very hard it is it remain in the it survive in the environment and it causes the infection to other person so we have to remember uh, this is the cycle here again they are so, uh, saying uh, saying that the human accidentally swallow the cyst and this causes the cyst 
releases the trophozoites and trophozoite again makes the cyst. So how this cycle is going on. So you have to remember one thing here. Trophozoite develop into cyst that exists the body, exit the body in fecus and that cyst is mainly infectious that cause the infection in healthy human being and this cyst again when it reaches the small intestine and then large intestine it invade the colon and enter into the bloodstream and make cause or damage the vital your vitals like brain lungs and liver so here what is the main infective stage infective stage of antamoeba histolytica is cyst only right once the cyst is passed from the stool it may cause infection to other human beings but trophozoite doesn't cause infection right it which divide uh, trophozoite develop into cyst that exists the exit the body in fecus right so you have to remember two thing here you have to remember two thing here trophozoite is a non infective stage but cyst is a infective stage right now causes of amoebiasis this disease mostly found in an area with the poor sanitation condition and who ingested water or food contaminated by fecus of infected person right and by swallowing cyst of the parasite it can also occur by oral and anal sexual contact with the infected person now prevention perform hand hygiene frequently especially before handling food or eating and after using the toilet or handling fecal matter we should wash our hand we should wash our hand with the soap at least for 20 seconds right so this is the end of the story of amoebiasis thank you